In this video, we're going to investigate the product rule of exponents. The idea behind the product rule of exponents is if we see a cubed, what this means is a times a times a. When we see a squared, what this means is a times a. What we have are three a's multiplied and two a's multiplied. So if we want to abbreviate it all with a single base of a, there are a total of five a's being multiplied together, or a to the fifth. We might notice an easier way to do this problem would be to take the exponents, three and two, and add them together to give us the a to the fifth. This is the product rule of exponents by adding the exponents on the common base. So for example, on this problem on the bottom left, where we have three squared times three to the sixth times three, we'll first need to remember that if there's no exponent written, we assume there is a one. We've got a total of two threes multiplied, six more threes multiplied, and one more three multiplied. To find out how many threes there are total, we simply have to add the exponents. Two plus six plus one is nine. This is equivalent of three to the ninth power. On the right side, we have two x cubed y to the fifth z times five x y squared z cubed. We can multiply numbers like always. This property has not changed. Two times five is ten. And then when we look at the variables, we can see how many of each variable is multiplied together. We have x cubed times x to the first. There are a total of four, or three plus one, x's multiplied together. Similarly, on the y's, we have y to the fifth and a y squared. Total multiplied together, five plus two are seven y's, so we have y to the seventh. Also, on the z's, we've got z to the first times z cubed. The total number of z's multiplied there are four. Three plus one is four. And so when we multiply, 2x cubed, y, y to the fifth, z to the first, by 5x to the first, y squared, z cubed, we end up with 10, x to the fourth, y to the seventh, z to the fourth. Again, the product rule of exponents says that we can combine the same base together, if it's multiplied, by adding the exponents to find the total number of that base that's multiplied together.